Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I just arrived to Beirut. We just landed a couple of hours ago. Tonight, this evening, we are on our way to eat my very first Lebanese meal in Lebanon. I love Lebanese food. It's gonna be an entire meze, which is all the different dishes, a spread of food. Plus, I think we're going to eat at a restaurant that specializes in the raw meat dishes, which is very common, a very, a delicacy in Lebanon. So I'm, yeah, I am just, I cannot believe that I'm in Beirut. I'm so excited to be here and I'm gonna share all the food with you in this video. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna be Fadi, Maya, Hello. and Camel's in the back. What, what's the name of the restaurant we're going to? Abu Hassan. Abu Hassan. Abu Hassan, yeah. All right. Okay, let's go to Abu Hassan. And then what do they, they specialize in medze and also? <coughs> medze and all the like Lebanese traditional uh, dishes. Medze, but we'll have the medze for today. Awesome. Oh, so traffic was not bad today. Uh, we got here like only in 15 minutes. This restaurant is called Abu Abu Hassan. Um, and okay, kind of a tight squeeze to get out through the cars. Oh, okay, there it goes. Okay, thank you. Shukran. All right. And I just love the breeze coming off the Mediterranean in Beirut so far. Yeah, the breeze makes it cool yeah, job, job, and job, fresh. Job, job, job. Oh, we're gonna step in here. It's kind of like almost a patio on the outside. Three words in the uh, in blue, it says the uh, the real Lebanese house taste. Ah, okay. Yeah. Real Lebanese house taste. Yes. Yeah. So that's yeah. what, what we're here for. Immediately, the aroma, I can smell mint, I can smell meat. There's so many aromas I can smell. Oh, that, is, that smells incredible. Appetizer Lebanese. Okay. All of the different messe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's kill them. Chef. Khalil. 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 Khalil, yeah. Yes. There's so many colors, there's so many pickles, there's so many... Oh man, this chicken that one looks like, looks like brain in the back there. Oh, this one is chicken wings. <laughs> this tomato. Ah, tomato. It smells so good in here. Oh, oh. You need me to... Uh, garlic. Yeah. Oh, I love that so much. So I have a question though for the salads. Do you normally have to order the salads you like or do they just bring you like everything at a typical restaurant in Lebanon? Typically there's a very hard decision every time. Like tatouche or tabouille. Ah, so decision. you do order though. You do order. You do order. Yeah. Some restaurants do the preset stuff, but we prefer to order. You okay. control whatever you want. Reinstall oh, he's it. mixing. Yeah. He's mixing something. Oh, is that? That's his tabouille. Tabouille. Yeah. عندك شوية ملفوف زرنا على الطبولي معنا. تمام تمام. Where are from? Originally from America, but my wife is from Thailand. I live in Thailand. Thailand. Ah, Thailand. Italian is the best easy. Prima, huh? Yeah. That is full. Full. In Arabic, ah, full. Okay. full. Yeah. Green beans. The fava beans. Fava beans. That is shanklish. Okay. Uh, cheese. It's cheese, yeah. It's, oh man, he is a master just reaching in. But even like, I mean, he, he's looking at the, our order and other orders and he dishes out the salads. Uh, but then he still decorates them, adds on the different seasonings, tops them with, with mint and parsley, with lime wedges, with whatever it goes with. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, what a beautiful, bright, colorful display cabinet of just natural, beautiful things. That is roca. Roca, okay. Uh, in Lebanese, salat, okay. huh? That is zatar. Oh, this, this herb is zatar. Yeah. Yes, it's the same zatar that's that thyme. you like, mm -hmm. yes, the thyme, but uh, this is the, just the natural form of it. <laughs> oh, 
Ja, oh, det simmar. Okej. Okay. Det simmar. Ja. Okej. Okay. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken liver? Ja. Yeah. Are those pickled? Ja. Yeah. Or the preserved? Show him the. Show him the. The mock bill. Yamen. Yamen. It's gonna be fried. Oh, okay. We have the chow. We have the soda. Just let me take it away. Okay. Thank you. Hello. Follow those brains back to the other kitchen. He just hooked those dishes up for the brains. He fried it down with some oil um, and then a bunch of garlic, then put it on a plate, then with some mint on it. Oh, okay. They're calling me for the food. And then for the liver, he just like squeezed in a bunch of pomegranate molasses. That fruity. Oh. Exactly. I'm waiting for you to see the table. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mark. you're waiting now. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to see the table. To see your Oh, okay. So, yeah, you should like. Oh, this one is. Notice the change of color when he puts the water. Okay, hold on. Yeah. What? So, Arak is a spirit. Uh, when you taste it, you think it's licorice, but it's not licorice. It's actually anise. And uh, the way they. You just what you just filmed, it's just one third arak and two thirds water, and it goes very well with uh, with sour and savory food, and it just uh, gives you the drive to keep on going, and that's what Lebanese do. It's a celebration, and it should take a while. So all of this food, we should be here for at least uh, uh, 90 minutes to two hours, chatting, eating, okay. sipping. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah, you really taste the anise, but it is smooth, it is like kind of refreshing. And by the way, this food is just out of control. The different salads, all of them are on the table now, and I'm sure there's just more coming. I love what Camel said when we were, when we were back in the kitchen. Camel said it's going to be a just an ongoing festival of food that just like continually comes to your table. And so all of this food, there's a lot of dishes, but it's meant to be eaten slowly. It's meant to be eaten while you're hanging out, while you're socializing, while you're just enjoying life. Rule of thumb for using bread is uh, anything that is moist or sticky. You just put a piece of bread on top of the food and you hold it as if you're holding the food with your finger. But uh, so the cheese roll actually, you can hold it with your finger. But then the lamb brains, the, um, the liver, anything that is oily or uh, moist, you should hold it with the bread and eat it. Hummus okay. with the bread, that's it. Cool. Yeah. So that's a general rule. That is. Oh wow. <laughs> so good. And that cheese in the center. That's incredible. That cebula is a staple in the Lebanese music. It's uh, finely chopped parsley, tomato, and cracked wheat. Lots of lemon juice. And we saw him as he just hand mixed the tabbouleh before serving it. He chopped up the parsley. Um, he added the tomatoes, the wheat, right? The Bulgar wheat in there. Yeah. A little bit of the lemon juice. Every time that I go to a Lebanese restaurant outside of Lebanon, I never miss tabbouleh. And so this is my first time to eat it in Lebanon. Tabbouleh is just an amazing thing. Tabbouleh cheers. Tabbouleh cheers. Yeah. So good. Mm. And chase that with some of the arak. While the lemon juice is still marinating on my tongue. Mm. That is very complimentary. Man, that tabula is just insane. This is what makes that tabula insane. Look at the amount of lemon juice and, and olive oil. This is what gives the flavor. The freshness of it, you can just, it stands out. And that ratio, the lemon juice, the olive oil. Wow. First bite of the fava. Oh, that's the, that's the full. Yeah. And uh, no, but what makes it really, really good, the lemon, the olive oil, and the uh, kuzbara. Kuzbara, coriander. This looks outstanding as well. When you add that to your plate now, that you have the, the juices, the tabula juices, the lemon juice on your plate, the olive oil, and I'm gonna pick this up with bread. 
โอ้ยอ่ะโอ้ว้าว Even the bread just like soaks up those those juices, those dressings. The fava beans have this kind of like slightly leathery skin that tastes really good, plus that like starchiness on the inside of them. Wala a i n a p which just means uh, uh, grape leaves. Wow. That one is so juicy and so like pickly, sour in taste. With the rice, just like the rice is like porridge on the inside. It just like melts in your mouth. Just try it on top of the lemon juice, huh? Yes. Yalla, begin. Yalla. Ada, ada kasi a k i When you are in Lebanon, never ever waste your juices. Oh yeah. Oh, all those potatoes are amazing. Okay, and follow with a pickle. Oh yeah. The garlic uh, sauce, the garlic dip. Goes very well with chicken. What is the garlic it's sauce called? It's it, we just call it garlic. Just garlic. Tum. Tum. It's just straight garlic vegetable oil, whipped. Let me see if I got the right side to do this in a one a one biter chicken wing. I think so. Oh no! I did it the wrong side, but it still worked. Oh. Oh wow, that garlic! It is so creamy. It's so thick and rich, and oh, that garlic flavor is amazing. Oh yeah. Oh, you can eat that by the spoonful. Camel just dished me some of the other salad. This is the salad I saw him make. This is with the raka, with the fresh zaatar and beetroot, and then he just sprinkled on the olive oil, the lemon juice. Oh, it's so fresh. He chopped it right in front of me before he made it, so you could just smell the aroma of that herb. Well, what I love is the the r o k a It has kind of a peppery taste to me, just and then you've got that fresh zaatar. It's the perfect balance of lemon juice and olive oil ratio. So that's that's the mountain cheese, if you want. It's like aged cheese. Add just add a lot of olive oil and mix it, and always mix it with tomato, parsley, tomato, and onions. And a lot of olive oil, and I think that's actually that's totally different taste. Then that's really, really good. Specifically, the s h a n k l i s h I wouldn't mix it with the other juices. Okay. It has its own juice. Yeah. s h a n k l i s h s h a n k l i s h s h a n k l i s h s h a n k l i s h It has a pretty cool name too. s h a n k l i s h the strong preserved Lebanese cheese. Mm. Oh wow. It's amazing, though. Yeah, it's not that, like, it's not too funky of a cheese. It's, it's just good, like slightly sharp. It does go up your nose a little bit. Slightly like acidic tasting. Time to move into the lamb brains, and he just sautéed these over a really hot fire. We added in some oil, added in a bunch of garlic, and then just like, yeah, just like, oh man, it smelled so good. Mm. Oh, the lamb brains. Oh, it's so creamy. It's so creamy. It's so rich. It's just like it's just like hardened pudding. Oh man! And the garlic flavor, the like the singe of the oil. It's delicious. Yeah. Better bite with or without bread. Oh man! I kind of like it with bread though, because that wraps it up. Yeah. There you feel it with your fingers, and you've got the juice with it too. So as you're biting into the creaminess, you also The juices flow. We've had tahini many times, which is made from uh, sesame seeds. But this is unlike any other version of tahini that I've ever had. A, they mix it with a variety of nuts, and all the nuts, their oils come out onto it. And then there's some kind of peppers in there, coriander, onions, onions, onions. and then tomato. a bit of tomato. Oh man, that is just like a. That looks like a dip of wonders. Yeah. Um, Oh, wow! My saying it does have coriander. It's true. Oh, it's true. Yeah, it's so good. That's unbelievably satisfying. You. That is stunning. The nuttiness of it. Well, it's like nuts on top of nuts on top of seeds on top of like like sitting in their own juices and oils. It's just like pure, healthy, fatty goodness. Yeah. Same bread, but soaked in butter. Yeah. Oh, nice. So it does get crunchy and it's kafta, kafta, exactly meat kafta. on the inside. Okay, yeah. and then it's made into a sandwich. The Lebanese, the Arabic Lebanese word is bride, so it's the bride sandwich. 
Yeah. These are the chicken livers now that he again fried up um, and then added on the pomegranate sauce and that just sizzled making like this dark, dark red, like just juicy gravy sauce. Oh, that hits you immediately. You taste the sweetness on your tongue, but then he immediately goes to like a sour and then he immediately goes to the creaminess of the liver. Oh wow, that's good. I need another one immediately. Yeah, that pomegranate molasses, that's just like, what a compliment to the livers. We've been eating for a while now and, I'll, and still there's dishes I haven't even tried on the table. This is one is green beans, uh, like kind of like sauteed down with onions, with tomatoes. Mm. Mm, and it's kind of pickled too, yeah? The, the green beans just kind of like dissolve in your mouth. Dandelion leaves, which I saw him make as well. And then he put on a bunch of fried, I think fried onions. I'm gonna, just gonna like soak it up in the juice. Mm. Oh, those fried onions bring out the flavor. It's not quite as like slimy like spinach and it has a little bit more of a texture to it. Those stems I think have a little more of a chewy texture. So in Lebanon it's called mudedera. Mudedera? Mudedera. mudedera. Okay, and it's uh, lentils. They are lentils, right? Exactly. But two different ways, two different ways. One is with rice, one is just the straight lentils. And Camel was explaining to me that like you immediately know which one is from the south, which one is from That's the north. from the south. This they is from the like, south of Lebanon. They like burgul in the south. So it's, oh, so it's with bulgar. Exactly. And then the one from the north is with exactly. rice. And this okay. one's darker because they really overcook the onions until they're ah, dark brown. Like and completely caramelized onions until it turns brown. Okay, I'll try the, the south first. Sorry, let me just put it. taste that south version. Also, like in the same. I ran out of juice. <laughs> Camel's reducing. I'm reducing you. Reducing me. So, also, it's okay in the same bite to have some of the tabula, salad, okay. not just the juice. I do taste the smokiness of that. Yeah, but it definitely will be, will, will be better mixed with some tabula with the extra lime, lemon juice and the, the tomatoes, the, the olive oil. So tell us, do you prefer the south oh, or man. north of Lebanon? <laughs> They're both really good. I think yeah. I like the south though. The, the, the onions, south. yeah. The onions <laughs> takes it up a notch. At least an hour of eating, I've finally tried every single dish. <laughs> Shukran. First meal in Lebanon. That was a stunning, stunning meal. The mix of dishes, the flavors, the refreshingness, the lemon juice, the olive oil, an amazing, incredible meal. Uh, but there's this one dish that often goes along with a meze that we didn't eat here, and that's because we're going to one more restaurant to eat it. Oh, yes. We just made it to the next restaurant, Al Halabi. Al Halabi. Camel was saying that this is a, just a well-known local restaurant in Lebanon, one of the oldest, one of the best. Uh, this is a big restaurant where big families come, especially for Sunday, to have a celebration of a meal. Yeah, right now the grill is not full, but when it's like maximum potential, when this place is packed on a Sunday or a weekend, he said he's he's flipping 70 skewers at a time all the way down the grill for that roaring hot fire. So Mark, the first one was fide, okay. the second one is uh, meat. I did kibbe. The, the darker one is kibbe, so it's the okay. meat but with uh, certain spices and crackers. Okay. Okay. So this is from the same area. So mark two types of kibbe. There's the classic recipe and the spicy one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's you want to draw liver, yes. Mark, huh? Yes, we do. Keeps going. That's a lot of meat. Hey, the edge of my No, That's lamb liver. Lamb liver? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we came here to eat one main dish, which is the kibbe platter. And kibbe is the minced, it's mostly the minced meat, right? Mixed with wheat, bulgar wheat. And this, we got an entire raw meat platter. And it is, it literally is an entire chopping block board. It's such a variety, that's a lot of raw meat. And as Fadi was saying, it's just a celebration of raw meat. That This is the real thing. This is truly Lebanese. This is really a delicacy in Lebanon. Yeah, I need a coffee before that much raw meat. <coughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, strong coffee. A bit of the grinds in there. It's delicious. Wonderful. This sauce. Really, really tasty. So, Mark, Mark, my grandma used to say, unless you mix salad with your fingers, it's not good. It has to be. You gotta mix with your fingers? It has to be mixed with your fingers. We're keeping it light on this meal. We just ordered some patouche, which is a salad. It's like the most common salad but it's essential in this part of the world. You gotta mix it with your hand. Those were some serious tossing skills. Fig birds. I think fig because birds. they eat, uh, like they sit on like fig trees and eat figs, I think. Frying up these little birds. Fig birds, they're called, which is also something we have to try here. Frying them up in some oil. Oh, that is like the entire bird. Absolutely stunning dish, the fig birds of Lebanon. He sauteed, he fried those birds, then he drained the oil. Then he squeezed in a bunch of lemon juice and salt, um, fried that down, and then he squeezed in a bunch of the pomegranate molasses and just sizzled, they sizzled in their juices, in the pomegranate molasses, in the lemon juice, until that like simmered down into an almost syrup consistency. Uh, pulled that off the fire, the raging hot fire, and that went directly into bowl. That smells unbelievable, and those are just like one biter little birds. Okay, so one of the just amazing things about Lebanese food culture and medicine is that even if you don't order many dishes, still many things come, like the different snacks. These are just like dinner snacks. Um, there's carrots, there's cucumbers, everything. What's incredible is the freshness. Just, I mean, straight raw products, carrots, cucumbers, uh, vegetables, legumes. These are fresh almonds. Uh, the real Lebanese food experience is something close to three to 3.5 hours, you know? Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's not like just let, let, let us eat the important it's thing. It's the, it's the meza, then the, 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 the raw meat, yeah. then the grills, the, yeah. then the fried, then the grill. <laughs> Serving me some patouche now. Mm. People say that hummus here is one of the best in Lebanon, so wow. okay. let's, let's try that's, it. And that's something we have to try. We can judge here. on that at the, rest okay. of, at the end of the trip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank it is really good hummus. Oh wow. It's really thick. It's really thick and creamy and sticky almost, yeah. Mm. So you take a piece of bread first. 
and then you dip the whole thing. You put granite molasses, and then the whole bird goes in on the bread, and then you eat the whole thing in just one bite. So dunk bread, mm -hmm. marinate your bread. I cannot wait to try this bird with that sauce. And just after watching him make that sauce, it's so thick. It is like it's like syrup thickness. Keep chewing, keep chewing. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, it's that pomegranate molasses. I love how it hits your tongue and it's sweet, but then that immediately turns to sourness. You, know, you just crunch on those bones, bones, but they're really like easy to chew. From the sweet pepper, um, salt, and chili. Okay. So that's it, 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 and olive oil. The raw liver. Okay, hardcore people have fat. I don't usually, but for the sake of Mark's video, I'm, I will be having this one. They're <laughs> going hardcore. So, a bit of chili. And then... So good. Highly fiat burgola. So this is what I like to do. And then some of the uh, garlic. But I'm going to go with your suggestion. How do I explain that? It's just... One of the most amazing things you can eat. A chunk of raw liver first. Okay, raw liver, plus a chunk of raw pure fat. This is lamb, right? Both lamb mm. fat and mm. lamb liver. Mm. So all three of the seasonings. This mm -hmm. one is a sweet pepper. To taste. Sweet pepper on, a little bit of salt, and then a little bit of chili on there. Okay. Wow, that is a bite. Oh, like the cooling textures of it. That just like melts. The liver kind of crunches a little bit. Although, let's try the next meat. Okay, the next one I really want to try is the like dumpling finger pressed ones with all that spice in it. And then he put like just a pine nut right within those little finger handholds. That is awesome. Wow. The texture of that, of that is almost like cheesy. You taste all that spice in there. There is wheat in there too, right? The bulgar, you can get that little crunch to it. The chili that he makes in there, that texture is just stunning. It's like so refreshing. Yeah, it really is almost cheesy to me. This one is the kafta. Basically, it's just, it's like raw kebab meat. Um, yeah, raw meat, then with all the spices, the parsley in there. Like so many different varieties of raw meat on one plate. All with their own properties, with their own flavors, with their own ingredients. Mm. Oh, I love that parsley in there. Freshness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the parsley like like brings it up, like refreshes your whole mouth. Almost coming. Okay. okay, so the next one is the pure meat. There's nothing added. It's such a smooth texture. Like it's like purely smooth. There's not even chunks in it. It is all. 100% lamb, everything. It's all lamb. Oh, wow. That is pure. Like it's like the texture of peanut butter. Like extra smooth peanut butter. That was amazing. Wow. Amazing. Another thing about this restaurant and like all over Lebanon, you'll find this bread, which is unique to Lebanon. It's a very thin bread. It's an amazing bread. Um, and at this restaurant, she makes the bread right in front of you. And what I like is it's so thin. Yeah, so you can really, like I mentioned before, you can really focus on the, the dishes and less bread. The Lebanese have it figured out. This one is the actual kibbeh. This is the mix with the bulgar wheat with the, the minced meat going right into the bread. I'm going garlic on top of that, and then I'm going chili on top of that. And I think I'll chase this one. I saw some raw chilies over there too. Get that bite. You should 
see all of his videos in um, Thailand and Japan and Haiti. I'm a The onion might be a little too much in one bite. Oh, wow. The wheat gives it more texture like that. It's like crunchiness and almost like a, a gooiness. <laughs> we take the raw liver. No, it sounds horrible. We put, uh, yeah, we put with it one piece of fat. Okay. Horrible to say. Use I'm gonna use my hands. No. <laughs> the, on the onions. The onions. The mint. Oh, nice. For the taste. And then, and this is, we kind of we don't use it that much. We need to, we use the salt and pepper thing, but it's still a thing to just dip your fingers and all of this, <laughs> you know? Try it this way, by the way. I haven't tried it with chili. Okay. It's just like the, the flavors will, will hit you one after the other, hopefully. Michel, the owner, he came to hang out with us. He made a bite his way. I want them. Like a <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, because immediately you taste the mint with those like fumes of the mint. Okay, so what is this dish again? Uh, this is muhammara, uh, which means reddish, the, from the color red. It's a walnut pepper paste. <laughs> oh wow, the smoky roasted chilies in it. The meat feast is over, we're moving over to the fruit buffet. So this would be very traditional Lebanese to have just platters, huge trays of fruit. And it's actually typically served this way, traditionally served this way on a separate table. You move to a different table. The quantity, the variety, the like fresh, natural ingredients, foods of Lebanon. Lebanese know how to, know how to enjoy life. That is without a doubt. Mark, Mark, Mark. <laughs> Fadi. <laughs> It's safe to say Fatty's happy. It's safe to say I'm, I'm starting I'm to giggle. I'm more than happy. Something is happening in my mouth that I can't even... <laughs> Let's not get there at this point. Yeah. One of the most genius things is the bowl of ice water that you can take your fruit and to chill it right in front of you. Mmm. Mmm. Superb. I like everything is seasonal. Exactly. Everything is fresh. Like a this changes depending on what season you're here in Lebanon. Pasta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put some in your plate and then some honey on top. Okay. Is that pistachio on top? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Fadi is a professional pasta server. Like the cream of all creamy creaminess, topped with honey. <laughs> I can't wait. Wow. Said it's amazing. It's rich but like refreshing at the same time actually. But it like goes down really easily and then with that honey. Yeah, with that sprinkle of pistachios, it's absolutely insane. Like it just goes down so easily. As I was taking that bite, if things could not get more perfect, he comes around with a pot of coffee. A midnight coffee. And you can smell the cardamom on there. Oh yeah, that cardamom, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna try that melon next. Oh yeah, it's so juicy. Oh yeah, so juicy and so sweet as well, yeah? It was a celebration of Lebanese food. And again, I've had Lebanese food at restaurants outside of Lebanon. This is on a whole nother level. Like I couldn't even believe the quantities, the, the, the varieties of dishes and just the vibrancy of the ingredients, the natural ingredients. I wanna say a massive thank you to Maya and to especially to USAID for helping me with this trip and for funding this trip. Thank you USAID. And I'll have their information in the description box below and also to Camel for organizing and for helping us out and to Fadi check him out as well he's my good friend from jordan thank you for watching this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it leave a comment below i'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that i publish and yeah again uh we'll be traveling across lebanon experiencing the people the food the culture 
it's an amazing country, amazing food, and I will be publishing all the videos, so make sure you subscribe to see all the videos. Good night from Beirut. See you on the next video.